Hello and welcome back to Trace Memory. I'm your host, Cerver, and let's get started. I did not intend to do that, but whatever at this point. Oh, the door's open. So just to explain a little bit, um, things have been kind of rough for me. I'm not really going to go into that because um, I don't really think people care that much. Um, but yeah, things have just been kind of rough. That's why this is going up on Wednesday and not Monday and Tuesday. Um, another thing that I wanted to say too, um, make sure that you save at this point because as soon as you go through the door out the copper hall, you can't come back here. So if there's something that you missed, too bad, you can't come back here. So, you just gotta do that. Um, let's check to make sure that we read all the DTS cards. We've already seen this one. Cause Ashley reads these aloud. Okay. Oh, we didn't read this one. Card 906, Richard's Journal. When I think about my relationship or lack thereof with Ashley, I am often reminded of my relationship with my late father. My father and mother both died in a plane crash when I was 18. After that, Jessica and I had to fend for ourselves. Dad was an extremely busy trade merchant and he never spared much time for his family. Back then, I couldn't understand him, but now I feel like he is the only person who would understand me. Um, I'm going to save again just so I don't have to read that again. Because this thing has already crashed like twice. Not that you guys would know that because you didn't see it. Anyways, as soon as you go through this door, you cannot go back. So make sure that you have a save before then. And then go through it. So now we're at the research lab. This part of the mansion looks totally different from the rest. There's a reason. This used to be a courtyard. I can't even picture a courtyard in this hall. It was very different then, yes. Right past that door, there used to be a courtyard. Beyond that, there was something else. I can't remember what. D, I just realized something. This must be the entrance to the lab. I don't know. Okay. It's the door to the lab. It's a keypad to enter the code. It's a small glass window. There's a trace of writing on the window. Hmm. Okay. This is a situation where you have to blow into the mic to get the letters to appear, I believe. Um. So let's hope that this doesn't mess up because it has crashed twice when I came here. Because the microphone is like messing up or whatever. So let's hope that this is mess up again. I'll be right back. There. That didn't work last time. Oh, oh, but it goes away. Five, eight, one, nine, eight. Three, one, two, two, zero. It's open. Let's go in. Photo sits next to a teddy bear.
A photo shows four people. Looks like Richard, Sayoko, Jessica, and Bill. Or Richard. I don't know. That's Bill and we know it. The man on the left is a blonde. Doesn't he? Yes, he looks like the man in the safe room. Second from the left is Sioko. That's my mother. Yes, I see a resemblance. The girl next to Sioko is. Hey! She looks familiar. It's Jessica. Oh, yeah. I suddenly remember what Jessica said on the boat over here. She said, I didn't know Sioko very well. Another lie. I can tell by the way they're smiling in the photo that they knew each other pretty well. Why did she lie to me? On the right is a blonde man. He looks familiar. Like the man in the lounge. My father? If that's your father, why isn't he standing next to Sioko? That's just my thought. The teddy bear has a pink ribbon. It looks brand new. It looks familiar is what it looks like. Okay. Open cardboard box. There's a box on the shelf. There's a box on the shelf. There's a card between the shelves. Oh, got a DTS card. I actually wasn't expecting that. There's a lot of books. A lot of books. In the bookshelf, there are many science and research books. Uh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so it's just gonna say the same shoot. There's a mess of papers on the floor. Nobody's here. I didn't even know this place existed. I've never been here. Ugh, I was gonna sneeze, but now I can't. So now I'm gonna have sniffles instead. Why all the cardboard boxes? Okay. Oh, okay. It's a pile of papers. What kind of machine is this? The desk is pretty cluttered. The keyboard clicks when I type. Oh, look. On the desk is a framed photo. Sayoko is in the photo. This is me, my mother, and...
someone else. Oh no. I suddenly remember that night. Ashley. That was what he said. What's wrong, Ashley? Dee, I remember it now. It's him. Who? He was the one who opened the closet. Opened the closet? Yes, I was inside the closet waiting for Dad. It was dark and I was scared. I was hiding, I think. Yes, it was definitely that man who opened the closet. He took my hand. Ashley. So that man is your father? Yes. It was my father's hand. I held it really tight. His hand was warm. Ashley. Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna beat around the bush with all this because that's lame. Baby sure is a cutie. Ha ha ha, I know it's you. I was just kidding. That woman is. Your mother, right? Yes. What's this? When a touch bomb image, a part of the frame opens up. Oh, I was not expecting that actually. Something came out. What's this? A DTS card came out from the frame. Neat. I got the white DTS card. I'm going to put this card in the DTS and see what it says, but I wanted to click on Dad. God. Card number 991. Code Ash853 Lee. This DTS card contains the first trace protocol activation code. Place DTS on main trace unit to display activation icon. Okay, so this is the activation card, but where is trace? Now I can click on dad. This man is your dad, right? Yep. Who looks familiar? He looks like that guy that was in the place. And he did the thing. And he was our dad. But no, someone had to be a dummy. Let's look at the computer. The computer monitor is on. Hmm. When I touch the red icon, the screen displays this message. Things to remember. Don't pig out on chocolates. Shave and brush teeth before meeting Ashley. <laughs> Must be notes that Dad left. When I touch the green icon, the screen displays this message. Bill, Trace is finally complete. And it's all thanks to you, you are a true friend. From the beginning, you've always supported my research and me. When Sioko passed away, leaving Ashley and me alone, I thought I'd never get back on my feet. But your words gave me a reason to live. You said Richard. Sioko gave her life for this research. The only way to honor her sacrifice is by finishing Trace. I know she would have wanted it that way. Your words struck a chord in me and I left Ashley with Jessica and came to this island to continue my work as you instructed me. Your, gen your generosity knew no bounds and for that I am grateful. I closed off contact with the rest of the world as you requested and I spent the next 10 years working on Trace. Today I completed Trace. You played such a huge role in its creation. I want you to be there when I activate it. I also would like to ask you the question I couldn't ask you all those years ago. What the hell? When I touch the yellow icon, this screen displays this mess the screen displays this message. Dear Sioko, 
I don't know if you can read this wherever you are, but I hope so. Trace is finally finished. I set up all the codes. It will activate fully when Ashley comes here with her DTS. I always pictured this moment differently in my head. I thought you'd be here with me. It seems like another lifetime when our research on memory began. It's a blur of coffee-soaked late nights in the government lab. Remember when we stumbled across the technology for creating false memories? And then when we realized we were in love? Another happy discovery. That time was full of happiness. We were married and then you discovered you were pregnant. At the same time we finished the trace theory, then came Ashley. The day she was born, you held her, smiled at me, and said, Richard, for our baby's sake, let's stop this research. Always an excellent judge of people, you, you already knew that Trace would be used for the wrong reasons by upper management. So that's why we sealed our findings in the security box and hid it in our house without the lab's permission. We turned in a false report that said there was a huge error in the trace theory to throw them off our track. And then we thought the project was over. You quit the research lab and started a new job as a mother. And everything was going well, but then... That horrible night, sometimes it seems like just a bad dream. You, you covered in blood, drawing your last breath in my arms. When I lost you, it felt like I had lost a part of myself. Even now that I've finished our life's work, Trace, this moment is still bittersweet. Sioko, when I meet with Ashley, where should I start? She probably won't even remember what I look like. Do you think she could forgive me for being such a selfish person? I don't think I would if I were her. I hope she'll accept the birthday present I have for her. I've been saving it for 11 years now. What birthday present? Oh my gosh. Oh right. That must be it. Alright, we will read the blue file in the next one. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you watch more of my videos in the future. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.